Good evening, Jimmy's. Today is Monday, October 7, 2013. Welcome to JCTV. My name is Mickey Glass. Michigan native Jason Day downed a whopping 27 slices of bacon in two minutes this weekend in Grand Forks because he wanted a trophy with a pig on top of it. He defeated eight other competitors in the contest. It was the first ever competitive bacon eating contest at Happy Harry's Beer and Bacon Festival in Grand Forks. Navy SEALs performed two high value operations over the weekend. They captured a high ranking member of Al Qaeda in Libya. The Libyan interim government is demanding an explanation from the Americans about the raid because they feel that the criminal should be tried in Libya rather than another country. The other operation was in Somalia, carried out by SEAL Team 6, the same group that killed Osama bin Laden. They captured an Al Qaeda operative who was linked to two bombings on U.S. embassies in Africa in 1998. The White House stated that they feel that the U.S. military carrying out both of these operations, while not dependent on each other, shows the world that they will pursue these terrorists for their crimes. Jimmy Football fell to Dickinson State Saturday, 27-7. Prior to the game, the Jimmy's people mover got into an accident due to the weather delaying the Saturday game. Luckily, no one was injured in the accident. DeMarco Smith ran for 102 yards and had the only touchdown late in the game. Quarterback Bo Erickson struggled in the passing game, only completing 11 of 32 attempts for 90 yards and throwing two interceptions. The Jimmy's next home game is this Saturday, October 12th, for our homecoming game against Dakota State. Jimmy Volleyball won both of their home matches Friday and Saturday against Presentation College and Briarcliff. Jana Johnson led with kills this weekend with 20. Setter Kelsey Derrigish had 45 assists, and libero Amanda Kramer led in defense with 19 digs. Also, senior middle Sarah Becker hit her 1,000th career kill Friday night. Overall, the Jimmys are 16-6 and six for the season and 4-0 and zero for the North Star Athletic Conference. The next home game is scheduled for October 11th against Valley City State College. Jimmy women's soccer fell to Carroll College Saturday 4-1. Jamestown's only goal was early in the game by Carroll Wall, assisted by Gabrielle Lane. As of Friday, Hannah Langseth exceeded her 100th goal in her career. The men's soccer team beat the University of Great Falls 2-1 on Friday with goals from Jade Johnson and Jacob Scott Hatherley. Men's soccer was canceled on Sunday due to weather and field conditions. The next games for men and women's soccer are on Saturday, October 12th at the University of Great Falls, Montana. For today's weather, there will be a high of 66 and a low of 43 with clear sunny skies. However, it will cool down by the end of the week. Friday is projected to be rainy with a high of 59. Tune in every day for the latest news. Have a wonderful day, Jamestown. Stay classy.